The cloud symbol was used by network engineers from the 70s onwards to show the local network then connected to an external connection. Once we all started using dial-up modems, we learned more about something new called the internet. And it was only in the 90s we started to talk about the internet services as being in the cloud. Today, the cloud delivers services like Netflix, Spotify, Amazon Video, YouTube, and all sorts of other amazing things. All those services are only possible though because engineers built massive data centers and started to cluster the hardware together to make some super powerful systems that make our home computers look pitiful basically. Data centers are sometimes called nodes and they have hundreds of server racks housing thousands of servers. They cluster these services together typically 10 at a time to provide a virtual machine and roughly it's got one and a half terabytes of RAM and just over one terahertz of processing power making this virtual computer roughly a hundred times more powerful than the most expensive home gaming setup you could ever ask for really. On the top of this they connect a bunch of hard drives together in a specially designed drive enclosure system to create SANS which are storage area networks. It's a bunch of hard drives that are accessible across the network within a data center. Now these SANS are typically 60 terabytes each and they can have hundreds of SANS in a data center. The internet connections into these nodes are also bundled together to form one massive load balance connection, sometimes of 100 gigabits. This is then allocated to the customers within the data center to deliver those services. Now all this power needs to be ready day and night. There's no chance the light's going off and there's no chance the internet's going to go down. And this is why they have multiple backup power supplies and diesel generators with all those systems all looked after and monitored full time every minute of the day. Now on top of this they've also got to cool all that hardware down and make sure that systems run at a set temperature. So they have enclosures and the cold air is pumped up to the floor in front of the computers. The computer then sucks in the cold air, spits the warm air out of the back and then the hot air is then taken back outside. Now on top of that special system you've also got fire suppressant systems as well and they basically all form one very complicated system we describe today as the cloud. So the next time you order a movie, a pizza or go online to play COD or GTA you now know exactly what's going on in the background. Beeping and whirring away, always ready but always taken for granted. But I want to say a big thank you for Teledata Manchester, uh, to Dean and Matt for their time and assistance, uh, for putting up with me, asking a bunch of questions and my stupid jokes and everything else. So a big thanks again to Teledata Manchester for making this video possible. So thanks very much for watching my video today. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did like it and hit that subscribe button if you've not already. And I'll be back very soon with another video. Take care now. Bye.